Warning. This tutorial applies to front loader washing machines only. Cleaning any goalkeeping equipment, especially soft parts, in a top loader can cause serious damages to your gear. Bad odor is one of the major problems in the goalkeeping world. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to clean your gear and how to keep it clean and free from smells. Say goodbye to no one willing to give you a ride back home from the next season on. We'll be dealing with all the equipment here because secretly without knowing it you've got a lot of pieces. You've got your cup, your pants, overpants, two kickers, two laggards, a body armor or protector, your under gloves, gloves and a helmet. We'll be dealing with this order because it's generally the order you put on your gear. Alright gear cleaning, let's get started. Um, soft parts like these can either be washed in a washing machine or in a bathtub, it's up to you. Uh, I recommend a washing machine, um, but always use a front loader, never a top loader. Because that, the top loader will definitely destroy your gear, so it's definitely something you don't want. Um, if you use a washing machine, use a gentle to medium cycle, and once everything's been cleaned, Make sure not to tumble dry anything under any circumstances because uh, your gear will definitely break down or like it won't be good. Um, Alright, let's get started. Uh, the cup, as you can hear, it's got a hard part in it, the cup itself. Um, if you can, take it out and watch the, the soft part separately, and if not, just put it in entirely. Now for the pants. Um, I reckon for most of you, these will fit in your washing machine. If not, put them in the bathtub. Uh, give them the same treatment as you would with your body armor, which will you'll be showing in a second. And um, these are the new Obo Robo board shorts, and they're really much slimmed down, so they should fit easily into your washing machine. Like that. And. In case you've got any overpants, they're not required with these board shorts, but for some pants they are. They're the easiest part to clean, just fold them up and throw them in, like that. Now for the kickers. I recommend using the washing machine, but often they don't fit, so I'll show you how to do it in a bathtub. Make sure you remove all your straps, because the metal may start to rust, and it's something we don't want. So. Remove them, put them in the bathtub, so let them soak, and use a scorer, like this one, to clean. You should do it a bit more extensively as I'm doing right now, just to show you. Now for the leggers, they're They'll always be too big, they'll never fit in your washing machine, just bathtub them. Um, so these bad boys pretty much work the same as the kickers. Just put them on the water. I really like get these insides really well because that is usually the part coming in touch with your body. They tend to be the most sweaty and tend to smell the worst. So really make sure you clean this inside really well. Now for the body armor, we use the bathtub as well, um, you just put it in the water, it like absorbs quite a lot. So make sure you soak it entirely. And as I already mentioned, they soak up a lot of water, so make sure like uh, you really let them dry very well. And like get a cloth spin and put it underneath the shoulders. Just hang it some, uh, somewhere out to dry. Now for the elbow protectors, um, they're quite easy. Uh, most of them can be taken apart like this. Uh, always make sure that you remember how to put them back together. So I tend to like wash one with uh, one part of my gear and do the re um, reassemble it, and, and then disassemble the next one and wash with the second half. So you always know how to put it back together. So this is what it looks like when it's disassembled. And just put it in. So we leave one apart. Uh, now for the under gloves, of course, very easy. Just throw them in. Um, now for the helmet, 
it comes with a lot of metal parts, so definitely not a washing machine for this one. Um, if you've got parts like you're on the forehead, sweat strap, these are the parts that tend to get the dirtiest, so just throw it in. Also the chin cup, it tends to get very sweaty and dirty, you can check it out as well, put it in. Just, you got the rest of this helmet left over. So what do we do with it now? Well, it's a very simple answer. Baby wipes. Just like these really small and moist tissues and just use them on the inside of your helmet. And while I reckon you're pretty much the hero of your defenders all the time already, you can be the hero one extra time and also clean their penalty corner mods for them and they can use the, uh, they use the same approach as the inside of the helmet, just some baby wipes. Now for the gloves, both left and right, again the same as the kickers. If you can use a uh, washing machine, I advise you should, um, but if not, just bathtub them, like put these guys again on the water, same as the kickers, entirely, just let them soak, get your scorer, Clean the insides really well. Get in there with your hands. Just give them a really good scrub. Again, a lot more intensely as I'm doing now. Especially the insides. Because they get in touch with your sweaty body. I really want to hear you think. I haven't got a bathtub. Well, no problem. You can just use a shower. Um, just make sure you use some. Uh, body scrub instead of uh, detergent and just use a shower handle just to clean your gear get again get in there with a scrubber and also the, the, the shower is ideal just to leave stuff to, to dry like here with the body armor or with the pants and with the pants I use one of these trouser hangers they've got like the building clips really easy and for the body armor I'm just using normal cloth spin now all of the gear is clean, but it has taken you quite some time to do it. How do you keep it clean? During the season, you haven't got time to do this every weekend. No worries. Obo has got a new product called Odigo. Odigo is a powder that contains biobacteria that actually eat the bacteria that causes smell, compared to sprays which just mask it. Odigo has got no smell by itself, as you can see, it's absorbed very easily. Odigo should be used consistently on every gear piece after every match or training to get maximum results.